YouTube fam. Thanks so much for tuning in. As promised, we're coming at you with another video. So today we're going to talk a little bit about the different changes uh, between our 2016 hike and our 2018 hike. So I'll start off first by saying uh, we're going to change a little bit about um, our nutrition. So food. Uh, <laughs> last time we uh, kind of started the trail with the mentality of like Snicker bars and honey buns and as many calories so as we could, <laughs> as many calories as we could eat, um, which was you know advice from other through hikers and. I understand where they were coming from, but uh, for us, we eat a pretty clean and um, plant-based, pretty much, uh, kind of diet with uh, some cheat meals thrown in there, but we were all like, oh yeah, it's gonna be cheat meals all the time. And that just, it turned out not being the greatest thing for us. So uh, this time we're gonna change um, by doing some actual food drops for us. So um, we're gonna do, I think six or seven um, food drops for us. Um, to get us about a month, you know, a month into the trail of different um, nutrition bars, and so I've kind of mapped out some different things that I think will help us. And you know, as we do our videos for you guys and updates and pictures, I'll make sure to you know show you what kind of foods we are actually eating. So that's just one thing we're going to change, and then another. Yeah. So the other part that we're really focused on changing up, and one thing to be careful with is your gear isn't what's going to get you to Katahdin. However, if you can make it better, why not? Um, so we've changed some core things. We're going with lighter packs, lighter sleeping bags, lighter sleeping pads, and ultimately also a lighter tent. Yep. Um, all but the sleeping pad are going to be coming to you from Z Packs. Yeah. They make some awesome gear. Um, it's a bit pricier, but hey, what have we been working for <laughs> for the last few years? Um, so we'll show you those here coming soon. We're still waiting on a few pieces of gear. Um, and want to give it a shake down before giving it a review or a stamp of approval um, but I'm super excited about those pieces and um, as of right now I don't have the exact number but we're coming in at sub 12 pounds for base weight That's that great. doesn't include food and water but for a base weight to be <laughs> sub 12 is considered ultralight yeah. not super ultralight which is below like nine I think um, but once winter gear gets kicked out during the summer I'm hoping to be under 10, so it's going to be fun. A lot of, a lot of weight shed, so it'll make a difference there. Yeah, just to give you an idea, um, I started with 33 pounds, and that That's included food and yeah, water. food and water. But my base weight was around 20, so to go from a 20 to 11 pound base weight, it's pretty great. It's substantial. It makes a difference. <laughs> yeah, and so our third thing that we're going to change uh, a little bit, change up a little bit, is kind of our mental focus out there on the trail. Yeah. Um, so this time around, we're going to be more focused on day to day. How do we feel? Are we doing, you know, what we need to do to make sure we're healthy, to make sure that, you know, we're doing what's best for us in that day to make us ultimately successful at getting to Cantaden. So we're, you know, like just to give you an example, um, in our 2016 hike, I was dealing with shin splints and I was too stubborn because I didn't want to turn around and go a half a mile back down to the trailhead uh, near, it was one of the trailheads in Georgia and I, did, I was too stubborn because I was like, I can't backtrack on the AT, who does that? Um, but I was dealing with shin splints, was too stubborn and ultimately really paid a price for that. So if I had turned around, gone into, into town, you know, yeah. uh, I could have maybe been, you know, I think it was Unicoi Gap. Yeah, Unicoi Gap. So I could have turned around and just easily went into Helen or Hiawassee and iced up and gotten, you know, what I need to do. So just we're going to change that a little bit, you know, listen to what our body needs to do that day and just be more focused on the day to day, but being, you know, ultimately successful at getting to Katahdin and, you know, not, you know, super focused on miles, but just doing what we need to do, having a good mental, you know, outlook on things and being just really excited and thankful for the days that we get to be out there and treating our bodies <laughs> well. <laughs> Focus on gratitude and not complaining. Exactly. So yeah. that'll make a difference. Yeah. And we're going to, um, for me personally, I'm going to have a list of quotes and Bible verses that I'm going to have that I can turn to, you know, if it's a really rainy, not so wonderful day that I can look to and just be like, Lord, I'm thankful for this part of my day. So thank you for giving me that. Um, and so we, we hope to kind of include that in our videos to show you the different things that we are thankful for, even in, you know, really hard climbs or really <laughs> um, hard weather to deal with. So yeah, we're really excited. And those are, are kind of our three big things that we're changing from 2016 to 2017 or 2018 hike. Um, so yeah, we're really excited and we look forward to sending you our uh, gear videos coming Stay up. Stay tuned. Bye guys.
And one more thing, we're out here doing a little hike up on Paris Mountain in Greenville, South Carolina. So if you're ever out here, check it out. We've got a beautiful lake here behind us. Thanks for tuning in.